thinking about moving to Houston, Texas, you may have heard that you're allowed to have golf carts in a lot of the neighborhoods here. And so we wanted to walk you through exactly what the rules are of driving golf carts here in the Houston area. I actually live in a master plan community and my custom golf cart is about to be delivered. So we're gonna see it for the first time. I'm really excited. But then we're gonna talk with Keith, the owner of Lacey's Golf Carts, about exactly what you need to do to make sure that you're following the rules and then we're gonna go on a little tour of our neighborhood in my golf cart and show you just how fun it is to have one here in the Houston area. All right, here it comes. I'm pretty stoked. We, uh, Let's just say I spent a long time going back and forth on exactly what I wanted this golf cart to look like. It's a little over the top, I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> oh my God, that thing's sick. Uh, yeah, this is way cooler in person than I was thinking it was gonna be. Keith, how are you? All right, man, how's it going? Uh, I'm pretty happy right now. Yeah. How are you today? Pretty good. We've been dying for rain. Of course we get it all. Yeah, we get the one rainy day, uh, <laughs> one rainy day but we, we need it. So. I guess uh, before we unload it and stuff, walk me through kind of what the the rules are for the road. I feel like a lot of people that are looking to move here to Houston are, you know, considering a golf cart. And I'm not necessarily a great rule follower, mm -hmm. but I think this go round, I'm going to follow the rules. So walk me through kind of the process of like what we need to know about when it comes to driving this safely on the road. First off, all our golf carts come equipped with all the. Uh street legal safety equipment. You have your turn signals, brake lights, horn, seat belts, and mirrors. Comes standard from the factory. Uh, depending on where you're at, this would be good enough in most places, especially for the neighborhoods. If you were to take it down to like the coastal areas, they'd require you to have a license plate on it. So just so I get this right, because I'm in all these neighborhoods, we're always filming in these master plan communities. You had mentioned something about neighborhoods maybe pushing back. Uh, do you, are you seeing that or are most neighborhoods pretty good with the golf carts uh, at this point? Most neighborhoods are pretty good because the neighborhoods aren't, you know, um, they're private, right? So these aren't like state or city streets, right? So most of them. This one most is. Of them. This oh, one is actually really? is, yeah, but but you're, you're good here. You just need to have a license plate and then the little triangle, right? Correct. Gotcha. All right, well, let's unload it. And then if you don't mind, just kind of show me all the bells and whistles. All right. All right, Here's sweet. Your, uh, Thank you. Order. Start up here, you got your uh, daytime running lights. They stay on during the day. LED headlights and tail lights, LED blinkers, turn signals in the mirrors. Uh, you got your vented windshield, pretty nice. You know, if it starts to rain, you can still get some airflow. One of the non-negotiables for us when we were looking for the right cart was having that windscreen come down. I know some of the nicer carts have like a permanent, you know, mm -hmm. glass windshield, but it's hot here. And so <laughs> if you're gonna buy a cart, get that fold down, get that breeze. You went with a real nice uh, Mad Jax 15 inch custom tire and wheel upgrade. You got your uh, stand up display. You got your uh, speedometer, your state of charge. Everything is touch screen. You can control your lights on your speakers from up here. Once again, very necessary. I need it Very all necessary. <laughs> and this is like basically Apple CarPlay. Yeah. Essentially. It does have a push button ignition. It comes with um, proximity keys. They so are, it's literally like a truck. It's got a key fobs. Yeah. Got Elec key electronic fobs. braking. It does have electronic braking. Uh, it's hydraulic disc brakes all the way around. You have your uh, high low gear selection. So it gives you a little to little more torque and low. Uh, if kids are gonna drive it or something, it governs it down to 15 miles an hour. In high, it runs 25. You got USB charging ports, and this is actually a thumb drive. Oh, cool. So you can plug in here, you can put pictures, movies, your business logo across the screen. Of course, you went with some custom amazing seats. custom seats with some nice cat's eye stitching. You warned me not to do white, but I had to do it. So if I get it dirty, that's on me. Yeah. The first of its kind with the uh, front facing seating. So it does add that extra safety element to the cart. Yeah. Uh, it's also the first of its kind. We missed one thing up here with an adjustable steering wheel. Oh, there you go. And it's horn. got a horn. Got the uh, sound bar, 26 inch sound bar with a LED neon lights in it. It's got a nice light bar across the back of it for cars to see a little better at night. It has underglow too, right? Just for safety. Did we do underglow? I think we did. 
I hope we did. We'll find out. We probably did. <laughs> <laughs> and then this was one of the cool selling features for me. I hadn't seen this on any other cart. Is this a trunk? Very cool feature. Yes, it is a trunk. It's actually a removable trunk. And whatever you have in here, you can pull it off and take with you. So Very if you're going cool. to the pool or the park, you know, you put all your all your goodies in here and carry it carry it with you. The golf bag attachment mounts right here, and then your golf bag stand straight up and down right here in the bag well. Okay, one of the things that I liked about this cart, I, I haven't seen exactly how it works, but I don't have to have a separate charger for it. It's just built into the cart. Correct. Uh, the, the charger's built in, so it just comes with a cord. No way. One end of the cord plugs in here, the other end plugs straight into your outlet. Pretty slick. Mm -hmm. All right, I got the music connected. That was the last step. So really appreciate you delivering it yourself. Yes, and then where can people find you? Uh, we have two locations, uh, Lacey's Golf Carts. We're located in Tomball, Texas at 9807 FM 2920. And we also have a location in Katy, Texas at 2533 West Grand Parkway North, right off the Grand Parkway. And y'all are the only fully custom guys around. You can do it all. We do it the best. Do it the best. All right. I <laughs> yes, like sir. it. That's what I like to think we do in real estate. All right, man. Thanks. All right, Pete. man. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Enjoy the cart. All right, we'll do. Now we get to drive it. Dude, you got to hop in here. Check this out. The inaugural cruise. Get your armrest so you don't fly out when we punch this thing. All right. <laughs> this thing's pretty cool. All right, so we don't flip it, I think we should go grab some food and show y'all what it's like to actually have this in the neighborhood because we've, we've had a golf cart previously uh, for about a year and it was time for an upgrade. We're taking the other one up. Uh, okay, first things first, I need to hit the brakes sooner because that was a stop sign. But you can take the kids up to the park. They had national night out the other night right up here and there were tons of people out here and I would say there's probably 20 golf carts with uh, people pulled up. We can head right over to the pool um, or we could head over to my office because I actually work in my neighborhood, which is super convenient. But yeah, let's head up. Let's uh, check out some of the restaurants, grab a bite to eat and see what this baby can do. I guess somebody's got a golf cart doing property tours up here. I guess ours is probably a little bit more fun to cruise in, but this is our pool. This is our weight room. You've got the park right over here, which is sweet. But what you can see, actually, I just passed it. But if we back up, you can actually see they got golf cart parking here. A lot of the neighborhoods like ours are going to have golf cart parking. Now, I don't think this golf cart can even fit in those spots. But uh, but anyways, yeah, it makes it super convenient to come up here, cruise on up to the pool in the summers. You don't have to worry about getting your car or truck all wet. And it's uh, honestly, it's just a good way to cool off, too, because it does get really hot here. And when you get this breeze going, it feels pretty nice. One other thing to note, you can see they've got sidewalks in the neighborhoods. Those are actually not for golf carts. You don't want to ride your golf carts on those. You want to ride them on the streets. As Keith mentioned, any of the streets that have 35 miles per hour or under, you're good to ride on. And that's going to be all of them in pretty much any neighborhood here in Houston for the most part. Uh, I'll literally cross the intersection across a major road and go check out, you know, some of the other restaurants that we have too. So I get a little bit more adventurous than I probably should but ultimately I haven't gotten in trouble yet, so. We're pulling into Marcel Boulevard, which happens to be the one of the two main restaurant shopping centers in our neighborhood. My office is actually right here, so if you ever do actually reach out to us, if you're thinking about moving to Houston, if you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, you're most likely gonna meet up with us right here at the office. You might even get to cruise in this golf cart if we are exploring my neighborhood, which is Grand Central Park. But we're right here at Camilla's. It's a Mexican food restaurant in the neighborhood. And once again, how cool is it to be able to come up here and grab a bite to eat in your golf cart? And that's exactly what we're about to do. One of the reasons that my wife and I really fell in love with the concept of a master plan community wasn't necessarily because you could get a golf cart, but it was because they bring all of the conveniences to you. Like for example, we literally just ate here at Camilla's and it's in our neighborhood. My office is next door. We can just drive the golf cart up here. It's tough when you've got little kids to load them all up. So it's really cool having that golf cart feature. 
But the other thing is there's always stuff being added when you do buy a home in these master plan communities. We've got a golf simulator bar right next door where I can literally drive the golf cart up with my clubs on the back and play. They've got leagues for you know, guys in the evenings. It's a really great way to connect and meet with people. But the other reason I love the golf cart is it gets it gives us something to do. Uh, whenever you've got little kids and you need to get them out of the house, get them distracted, there's no better thing than me grabbing my rambunctious three and a half year old daughter and saying, hey, you wanna go on a golf cart ride? So our thing, every Saturday morning, we go get coffee and tacos in the golf cart. It gets us out of the house, gives mommy a break. And uh, we get to go and we go to all the different restaurants, we mix it up. And then the other cool thing too, is a lot of these neighborhoods actually have golf cart parking at the grocery store. So this isn't uh, you doing something sketchy. Literally, they know that it's set up for families. They do that way on purpose. Um, that way, if you do decide to live here, it makes it super easy and convenient. So I'll be able to run up to Kroger on college game days or you know, NFL Sundays, whatever you, whatever you celebrate and go grab you know, beer, or chips and queso uh, in the golf cart. And the cool part is uh, you don't have to park in the parking lot. I literally just pull up pretty much to the automatic doors and just you know, park it like you own the place and nobody says anything and then you can just zip out with the golf cart. So it actually makes it a lot faster uh, getting around. And so we've just found that it's super convenient and it is kind of a different lifestyle that a lot of people don't know existed, so that's why we wanted to show it to you. Are you Swedish? We were filming. Oh, no. no uh, that's funny. Uh, anyways, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. I, I don't want to sell you on anything. Lacey's golf carts were located in Tom Ball 39 to 90 and Right off the Grand Parkway. Get a golf cart, don't get a golf cart, but a lot of people, our clients that are moving here, they tell me, hey, as soon as we close on our house, we're gonna go out and buy a golf cart just because they see it for what it is and how fun it is and easy it is to get around to the pool and to the parks and the playgrounds and stuff like that. Okay, so I know this video is a little bit different, but ultimately our goal is to show you what life could look like if you did decide to move right here to Houston, Texas. And golf carts, well, they could be a part of that. And I, I do wanna say one more thing. You don't have to live in a master planned community to drive a golf cart. In fact, tons of the acreage communities allow them. And so you're just gonna have to do your own research when talking with us as you're navigating neighborhoods if you want a golf cart to actually be part of your move here. So if you wanna know more about master planning communities, we've got a great video right here. Be sure to check that out. It'll explain exactly what I'm talking about, about these highly curated neighborhoods. And like always, if you're thinking about moving to Houston, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas.